Hello everybody, this is Brian Black and here welcome back to Let's Play for One Blaze Glaze and our last episode we challenged Dream Leader Sparky and today's episode we're gonna explore exploring the isle. Alright guys, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my word candy to level up my Pokemon and then I'll be right back. Okay folks, I leveled up my entire team to level 23. Everybody's at level 23. Now that's out of the way, let's, let's continue exploring the town, the aisle. And yes, we're doing the lighthouse challenge in this episode. I want to show you something real fast. Do you see this walk over here? We can't challenge the gym right now. In the original glaze, we could, but in this game, we can't. We need an item called the Delucifier to get through that. So, before we challenge the gym here, we have to do the event, uh, events in the haunted aisle first before we can come here. That that is quite a change there from the original glaze to here. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue exploring. Just wanted to show you that real quick. <laughs> we I am indeed gonna do the uh, the lighthouse challenge in this episode. Why in the world are you playing video games on vacation? You're gonna get caught in so sooner or later, dude. Nope. Start the second floor. Thank you. 
Let's go to the third floor first. Yeah, we gotta do this little side quest. This is for the wish ticket. And this girl will give you TM09, which contains this grass nine in this game. Normally it contains bullet seed, but in this game it contains grass nine. Mm. Alright. Guess we're going to the fourth floor then. Okay, now we gotta go back downstairs and get the food for her. But before you do that, I want to teach Seed Bomb to. I want to teach Seed Bomb to, uh. to Monferno. Because that would really help. Mm. Mm. We'll get some nice coverage. Alright, let's keep going. So be warned, this might be this might be a kind of a lone episode by the way. Talk to her. All right, now we got, now we have to go back to the second floor and talk to to Melanie. <clears throat> this I could is kind of annoying because you have to keep going back and forth. Mm. Well. Mm. I only need one potion, okay. Mm. Yeah, I already, I already got the items. Mm. Yeah, I didn't need these potions. Mm. Let's go back to the second floor. And let's talk to her again. Okay. I know where I know where it is, folks. about way here it's right there three steps like hang on for those of you that know don't know where it is two steps below the door below that door below that door right there just two steps and look to your look that way and that's how you find it all right let's go back to Melanie and get her to swimsuit Alright, now we got the wish ticket, but in, a, in an original Blaze, you can't get a Jirati way off the bat, but here in Blaze Blaze, you can't get it until you have access to Rock Climb. So you can't catch Jirati right now. Alright. Let's explore the rest of the city, and then we'll do the lighthouse challenge. Mm. Yeah, you gotta have such screen on. You will get sunburned really bad. Mm. 
Well, puberty I can't. Hmm. Puberty I can't stand the heat or it's allergic to the sun. That's who. No, we can't go over there yet. Alright. <clears throat> Let's do this lighthouse challenge. I think this guy uses electric type, so let me put some for up front. Here we go. This should be a breeze. <laughs> so I had to level up a little bit here. So I can stand a chance here. <laughs> this is quite a little bit of a difficulty spike compared to the last gym, so. It's not too bad, it is a little bit of a difficulty spike. Hmm. We got eight floors to do. I think this is the ground type trainer. So let's go ahead and bow this guy. I'm glad my YouTube channel is back to business. Uh, go let. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go for a uh, swamper here. Why not? Next floor. I guess the next one uses water types, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, let's keep going. I think this one uses grass types, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, Ivy Sore.
Maybe Sorin was early. I'm gonna use my inferno here. Let's see flame though here. Halfway there already. Okay, I think this is the ice type trainer, I think. Yep. I think the next one's fire types, I think. Sorry, the same storm's going to take it out. Mm. Alright. Mm. Okay, this guy uses fire types. Alright, let's go use Swamper in time and tar. I think the other two is Spire and fighting, walking fighting types. Quirilava is actually a part ground in this, in this game. It's usually just fire, but here he's just, he's part ground. So that's what I'm hacking anyways. Yep, box item right pointer. <laughs> it only gets harder from here, folks. I think the walk I think the walk types are next. Those computers computer give you quite a lot of experience points.
just in case. Okay. Alright, one more opponent. One more point one more opponent to beat. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we'll just do a little bit on level for this one. So we can handle this, so I just wanna make absolutely sure I'm showing up for this. I loved up like I did. Things are clean on mean food here. Alright, kill goes up to level 24. And Gurder. Gonna moonblast it. There you go guys, that was the lighthouse challenge. Alright, I'm gonna claim my prize, heal up, now in the episode. I'm gonna, go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and claim my prize, heal up, heal up, now in the episode. Let me get an EV. Here's a good, pretty decent place to grind, it's not bad. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Blaze Glazed. In the next episode, we're gonna go go through the uh, turquoise bay. So there you go. This is Brian Blackner. I'd like to thank I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.